Oh hey everyone, I hope you remember me from the last video. I wanted to spend some more time today talking about myself, an immunoglobulin. If we go to the AllFreeCure website and look at a dashboard, you can see that they collect data on many types of immunoglobulins like myself. So let's start with a little introduction of me and my friends. I'm IgG, and here are my friends IgA and IgM. We're the most common types of immunoglobulins you'll find in a multiple myeloma patient. There's also IgD and IgE, but they're not as common. I, IgG, am found all throughout the body. I help fight bacterial and viral infections. IgA is found in mucous membranes of the GI and respiratory tracts. It's also found in saliva and tears. IgM helps the immune system fight infections in the blood. Usually, IgM is the first immunoglobulin that's produced when exposed to a foreign substance. Unfortunately, because IgM is so big, it can't pass through blood vessel linings into tissues, and a high number of IgMs can actually make the blood viscous. This can be a problem in a multiple myeloma-related illness called Waldenstrom's macroglobulinemia. So why does AllFreeCure collect all of our data? Well, it's because our levels can help monitor the course of someone's disease. We reveal if there are any excess amounts of immunoglobulin types. And we can help assess the response to a certain treatment. Thanks for watching this video. If you want to see more of AllFreeCure's video, you should visit their website at allfreecure.com.